Hi Taurus, it is your May monthly reading. I'm doing these readings a little earlier than normal because I can just feel in the energy out there that people are, you know, being a little anxious. So I'm gonna try to um, really focus on the two areas this month that are on everybody's mind, which is finances and um, relationship. So I am gonna um, start with an overall kind of um, energy card for the month for you. So I'm gonna use Sandrian Taylor's Energy Oracle deck, and for you, um, the overall energy of May is gonna be door to personal healing and happiness. So this is all about you really deciding to let go of the past, let go of any disappointments, any letdowns, and really looking at, okay, where can I go from here? How can I walk through that door of personal healing and happiness? That the rainbow is on the other side, all the good stuff is through the door, but if I can't let go of what I'm holding on to, I can't get through the door. It's like the, the sack on your back of stuff that's weighing you down that you're carrying and holding on to is, is too big to get through that door. So you've got to let it go. And part of that is going to be finding forgiveness. Finding a way to say they, them, that person, or myself made the best decision that we could have made at the time that we made it. And I've got to just let it go. Am I letting them off the hook? Am I letting myself off the hook? No, I'm not. I'm saying we did the best job we could. That was then and this is now. And if I take that stuff forward, I'm going to keep buying into the same habits. I'm going to keep running the same pattern and I'm going to keep being on that hamster wheel that's not getting me anywhere. So this month, it really is going to be looking at where do I have to let go of decisions and people that did the best they could at the time that they had to do it. And it maybe didn't go well for me, I got hurt, but that was then and I just need to focus on now and moving forward, okay? All right, so let's see what the angels have to say to, um, What's this month going to bring for us? Once we unload ourselves, once we unburden ourselves, what is it that is this month of May, springtime? All right, so first card out is Seven of Michael. So Taurus, there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So I do feel like in the spirit of forgiveness and letting that stuff go. It's a process. You know, you may have already started that process of forgiveness with someone or a situation and now you're just kind of peeling like the last layer. Because I do feel like for all of us, we are ending a cycle and we're letting go of, you know, um, the past 10 years or the past seven years or the past five years or the past three years, whatever your cycle is. Um, you know, you're letting that go in, in March and April, we're really the process of release. And with everything that's going on out there, there is, there's a lot of, of releasing the old. And, you know, this is saying it's time to bring in those new people so you can have the collaboration and you can start thinking about, okay, from, from, from May to the rest of the year, what do I need to focus on for my situation um, and who, the relationship piece of this, who is going to be there for me and, and walk this journey with me. So again, that forgiveness may be helping you let go of someone in the past that didn't, it can't go forward with you, unfortunately, okay? Um, because uh, Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Boom, twice. Call in new people. Call in people who can help you. So collaborating, partnership. Maybe it's letting go of a, of a loved one. You know, you um, that relationship no longer serves you. And as much as you love that person, you have to love them enough to let them go on their journey because your journey is taking you in a different direction. All right, Taurus. So, you know, this is about new people coming into your life, whether that's a new relationship this month or a new collaboration or partnership for work, okay? So really look around your situation and, and, you know, for yourself, you know, where is it that I need to 
eliminate some people that don't have my back. All right. So, because you're going to have an epiphany this month, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. So again, you know, um, going back to walking through this door of personal healing and happiness and doing forgiveness, sometimes we need help with that. Sometimes we need to call in an archangel or a guardian angel or uh, a higher being um, that's part of our team of light workers to come down and, and help us with our growth, with getting clear on what it is that we need and where it is we need to go and who it is we need to take with us. So Taurus, I do feel like May is going to be a really introspective month for you and meditation is really going to be helpful for you to get the clarity because you're going to be quieting your mind so that you can hear feel know and sense um what is right for you this month okay so um the nine of michael your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry yeah let it go letting that stuff go is going to get you the happiness that you want the new people the new relationship coming in the new partnership the new collaboration so may is going to be a big month for people in your life changing or leaving or adding so a lot of relationship changes for the month of may taurus so it's going to be really important for you to get quiet and get clear so you can get the knowingness and and the ideas and inspirations because king of gabriel is here giving you uh, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. And you have a genuine concern for others. So yes, this is about you moving down the road through the door of personal healing and happiness to get to this idea of getting the inspiration that's going to take you to um, where you want to be in your money house, but who's going to go with you? How is that going to look? Do you have a partnership or a collaboration that hasn't been working? They've been stealing your energy so that you can't get the inspiration. Or do you have a partner who's really not loving you in a way that you deserve to be loved and that's stealing your energy so that you can't get motivated to move forward? So it's really important this month of May for you to get clear. So meditating, um, getting the guidance. All right, so let's see what the messages from your guides have to say on this. Ooh, accept struggles as lessons. Yes, because you're putting the lessons into practice. So the past struggles that you've been through, which you know May is gonna be about cleaning a lot of that stuff up. Those struggles are gonna move out, but that's also gonna take people and situations with you because they're the struggle. So you just have to look at who's leaving, what situation is leaving, what person is leaving your life, and just know that that's a lesson. And really get clear with yourself. Like sit down with a journal and say, okay, what was the lesson here? What did I need to know? What did this teach me so that I don't do this again? Or I don't have this bad outcome again or this choice again? And because I want to move forward, okay? So let's see what the crystal card is that's going to complement that. So yeah, struggle as lessons, okay? What am I learning through letting go of that situation, forgiving the people, forgiving the situation so that I can get to the happiness, so that I can have the relationship that I want. I can call in the person I want. May is gonna be a, a transformational month for you, it really feels like. And the um, moonstone is gonna be helpful. Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So whatever situation this reading is making you think about, Taurus, that's the one that you've got to transform. That's the one that you've got to heal, all right? So that you can move forward and have the happiness that you're looking for, whether that's um, happiness in relationship, in love, or happiness in your money house, okay? All right, so let's get a Queen of the Moon Oracle card to give us a nice um, send off here. Wisdom. You have the knowingness. You came into this life with the knowingness, uh, Taurus, as to you know what you need for yourself, what you need in your life. And so I do feel like May is gonna give you the opportunity to make the changes that you need to make to move forward for the rest of the year. All right, yay. Awesome. Guys, have a beautiful month and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.